Welcome to Animate Effects. Hi, this is uh, Laurie with uh, another little helpful tip for uh, servos, driving point motors and uh, changing directions. I've got a little um, dwarf signal that I put in there that I've made. I've got a slide switch here, which is working the dwarf signal for whichever way the track is. I'll just throw this, and now we're onto the red. The trick with all of this is, I'm using one of these testing servo drivers 99 cents 99 cents is what it's worth there I've got a uh, DC DC step down um, buck uh, controller and of course I've got the servo motor SG90 on that and <coughs> 12 volt power coming in 5 volt coming out that's going into the servo driver. The servo driver's got three outputs there, so I can have three um, turnouts off that. For 99 cents, that's that's, un, that's about uh, two dollars. They're about two bucks. So you're looking about uh, five bucks worth there. I've got a few LEDs in there and the rest of it and a switch. So let's say six dollars. For six dollars, you've got all of this made up and that's just turning off the end of that there just a uh, spring wire a bit of brass tube I've used uh, Arlene's tacky glue to, to glue the, the, um, the board the plywood board on and I haven't had any effect with the uh, glue affecting the foam so that's just one on the foam so if that's something let's come off and put that back on there we go we're back on now I don't know what was going on so straight through track I've got the green light put a bit of foam in there so if you're cleaning track and you hit something rather that's just sitting in there on a pin and I've just made that up um, heat shrink tube um, and that's um, a bit of sticky tape on the back and a pin we put that in there and there we go we've got our signal red green This has got um, a centre. There's three blue LEDs in in the, um, the in the servo driver. I won't. Uh, well, I can. I'll take that out of there for the moment. Bend that back, and I press the button inside here. That centres the uh, centres the pin, and then you can get. Get the servo to work the four now. Then you take it back there to this first blue one there. That's where I've got it connected. And um, you can adjust the the speed and the setting. You see that moving? That's on the potentiometer, the pot in there. So that's where you set the throw how much you want so when you put all this together this makes it easier to be able to do the alignment to get the uh, wire to go through now so I can get this to work off the switch I put in uh, somewhere between a three 
for 5k resistor on the red wire and off the, off the potentiometer I'm not using the signal but there's three pins there I've soldered the um, negative and the positive to the center one and then the outside one so if you're looking at that you can see I can run the switch off it there but you've got to have the um, the resistor in there as well so that works it as a switch there's another one that I made I took down to the club uh, railroad club last weekend and um, that's the same same thing switch we made up a little dwarf lead coming off the switch and the switch also is coming off um, the tap underneath that I did there soldering onto the uh, potentiometer rather than using the pot but you can still use the pot to turn things and the button still works here, the little button there just get the two run, to run backwards and forwards so we take it back to where it is there now and that's that's where we get the throw and there's enough movement there on the end, end of the, um, the arm to throw a a, um, a turn out men's scale, HO, even O scale, that should be enough to be able to move it. So, there's the uh, step down buck uh, DC, 12 in, 5 volts out. Uh, there's a little screw there that you uh, turn anti clockwise to bring it down. And you just check it with a multimeter so you get 5 volts. Uh, and that over here there's three pins there but you don't use the signal you need the negative and the positive there black and red and then this off the end of it here and you can see there's still two more um, servos can be connected to this so that's um, a pretty neat little unit with the camera so pretty simple but again, if I lift this up, you can see where I've, um, I've tapped in to be able to get the uh, switch wired rather than using the potentiometer. And again, just in there, I've got a, um, oh, I think a 3.6, 4.3, 4.7, 5.1. Any of that's uh, resistors um, will work this. So somewhere around about somewhere between three and five uh, K resistor on the red, and the black goes to the center pin, and the red comes off one of the pins. Double pole, double throw. As I mentioned, the cost of all of this is just so cheap. Two or about two dollars thirty or something or other through AliExpress. Um, the uh, buck step down DC converter. They were ninety nine cents. You can get them for ninety one cents uh, for the uh, servo driver and the servo. That's just uh, a couple of bucks. And I've used um, 0402 LEDs for the. Um, With a little dwarf signal that I made a bit of black uh, a bit of black uh, uh, styrene and I just put some sticky tape on the back uh, black foam tape and yeah so a lot of um, good and you can see the um, resistor I've got in there I put a 4.3 in this one and a little slide switch a little slide switch see in there a 
How's it going? Anyhow, I thought this might be helpful for people. Cheers.